Hi, so this video is about the use of Botox in treating strabismus. So the Botox is injected into one of the muscles around the eye to stop the spasm that causes the strabismus. Um, now it tends to have partial success in that it works uh, for as long as the Botox is working and once the Botox wears off um, the strabismus tends to come back so you need another course of Botox. Um, so I'm I had a few thoughts about it basically. Um, now I know with my own experience recently um, I've been working on the pupillary constriction, which is a slightly different set of muscles. Um, so you slightly narrow the eyes. And what I'm, I'm finding very suddenly is this side of my face is much more relaxed. Um, and my eyesight is a lot more stable. Um, I am less bothered by the, the spasm and the jerking away. So I'm wondering um, if it wouldn't, if they haven't got this slightly wrong actually, um, and maybe instead of injecting it into the eye, um, or into the eye muscle, maybe, you know, a cheek filler might actually be the better way to go. Um, is so, um, you, you'd want to relax the face muscle to make the eye um, work a bit. Now, you would. To do that, you would need to be plussed. Um, you would need to have enough plus on on your glasses, or you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be over minused. Uh, that that would be the only thing because that could be what's setting off the spasm in the first place. But it is just a thought. Um, so if anyone out there um, has strabismus and is considering this, um, this use of Botox, May, maybe that's a thought worth holding um, and just seeing if having it in the face works better than actually having it into the eye muscle. Um, yeah, so that was basically my little thought for the day.